What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Pet Info, coming at you with another video. This video is, of course, a pet room update, because I have a couple things to update. In other words, I just did a couple more things with the planted tank, so let's get to it. Uh, so, well, I guess one thing changed in here. I did put a sponge filter in Poseidon's tank, but other than that, nothing, so... Of course, I'll show everybody going like pretty much top to bottom, then going to reptile corner. Uh, so here's Poseidon, my jaguar cichlid or Perichromis managuensis, little beast. And then right, right here, we got the planted tank, which you probably already noticed. A couple things moved around, new plant. Uh, so let's go ahead and get on to it. Uh, start out with all the fish. Here's my small Bolivian ram, my larger Bolivian ram, gold wonder killie fish named Zeus, and my Siamese algae eater is right there. So, moving on to the plants, as you can see, the Amazon sword has moved over to right here. Uh, I moved a little bit of the duckweed around, uh, not duckweed, uh, guppy grass. Um, got the anacris, same spot. Uh, as you can see, I got guppy grass that's growing all out of these rocks and everything. Hygrophilia polysperma sunset is not kicking back from the injuries it took from the angelfish. So, any tips on what to do about this, please share because it's been about a month and, uh, those leaves haven't even sprouted at all. Uh, you can see I clipped down this Hygro SP because uh, the leaves on this were also not growing back at all. So that sucks. Um, so yeah, it is shorter now. And sadly, I was actually about to be able to propagate it. And I would have had double the pieces I had before if those stupid angelfish didn't tear up my plant. Uh, but they did, so I just had to cut the plant in half. Uh, and now it's half the size, and I have half the plants I had before. So, yay. We got the unidentified plant back there, the stem plant that you see here. We got my java moss. Man, I don't know why it's so bright. Uh, java moss right there. Uh, my other species of hydro SP, um, which is getting ready to be propagated. We got my banana plant that has been stripped bare of bananas. As you can see, the last one is that little thing over there. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and you know point out, I think the Siamese algae is actually eating them. But I'm not getting rid of him because I like him too much. So, moving on to the last plant, well, second to last plant, which is... My mini Christmas moss here, a uh, rare plant provided to me by JW Heiser 1302. Uh, props to that. Uh, and then we got my most common, cheapest plant that's in the tank, though I really do like this stuff, and it's actually a pretty good filter, uh, natural sort of filter, which is duckweed. Now, obviously, by natural filter, you can't use this as just. Uh, you know, you can't have just duckweed as a filter, but it's a good add-on. And then I got my pothos plant right here uh, that is inside of my filter growing. Uh, new leaves are coming onto it right here. Um, so yeah, it's doing very, very well. Um, this 20 long, empty as usual. Um, gonna be setting it up, working on setting it up, that is. Uh, as soon as I get a little bit of money, um, so yeah, 10 gallon I'm also going to be working on setting up, and then over here we got my blue eyed cichlids, uh, if you didn't know, or you're new to the channel or something, these are blue eyed cichlids, they're almost extinct in the wild, hold on, I didn't get onto my new plant, here's my new plant right here, um, I got this from my local pet store, which is called, um, Last Place on Earth Pet Shop, and they had this here, and it looked really cool, and it was colorful, so I got it, and it is called Ludwigia glandul 
uh, glandulosa, I believe it's pronounced, Ludwigia glandulosa, uh, and it's quite large, um, it's pretty freaking cool, and it definitely gives the tank, you know, more cover, because before, this entire side right here was really bare looking, um, and it's really nice, you can see the stem is all pink, the leaves are all pink, uh, it's super awesome, uh, Oh, and one more thing before I get on to the blue-eyed cichlids. Uh, as you can see on these leaves and that leaf and pretty much almost all my other leaves on this Hydro SP is turning brown. Now, it's not dying, it's algae, and it's really tough algae, and I don't know what to do about it because it's, like, so tough that the Siamese algae are right there actually can't really even scrape it off the leaf, and I can't really even scrape it off the leaf. So any tips on how to get rid of this uh, would definitely help. So yeah, oh crap, I always forget about this plant too. Um, my last plant, and I promise this is my last plant, I swear, which is this little doohickey right here, not the stem, that little doohickey, which is Subwasser Tang, I have a little flake of it back there as well. Really strange species of fern. Uh, doesn't attach itself to anything. Has no roots. It just kind of. You basically just have to shove it in a hole and hope for the best. So yeah, moving on. Finally to the blue-eyed cichlids, which this is my second favorite fish in the tank and the prettiest fish in the tank. Uh, my dominant female blue-eyed cichlid. Right there, you can see her colors are. Be, uh, beginning to be awesome, you know, just amazing. Uh, her little uh, fins, like right down there, are turning black. Her side is turning really nice. Uh, the spot on her dorsal fin is amazing. And her eyes are popping. And then, of course, we got my first favorite fish right here. The dominant fish of all of them, my dominant male, my only male, blue eyed cichlid right here name suggestion oh there he goes name suggestions for him would be awesome uh he's been he, he looks kind of like a chancho in his body shape and everything but yeah uh definitely name suggestions for my pair here would be awesome uh i'm thinking maybe for the male craven so i think that's a good name uh and i got that name from blessed one uh, on YouTube, he has a male tiger motoguensis cichlid that is uh, named Craven, and also that's not the only reason. That's where I got the idea to name him Craven. But also, I mean, I'm a I'm a bit of a horror game fanatic, and of course, Craven's Manor. It's a pretty good game, and so yeah, Craven. Uh, that's that's the male's name, okay? His name is Craven now, but female's name. Uh, I'm not going to name it Raven, I'm not going to completely copy Blessed One, but, uh, yeah, think of a good name for the female, and, uh, let's move on to the update, actually, I'll show the two underdogs of the tank here, we got the runt right there, and we got the other one right here, it's like the middle child of the tank, basically, it gets absolutely no attention, uh, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> anyways, moving on. We'll start off here with Tom, my female green sunfish in a 55-gallon tank. Earlier, uh, with that new plant I got, uh, it had this strange little creature on it. It was like some kind of larva. And I put it in this tank, and by the looks of it, he ate it. And that was sort of the point for him to eat it. So, yeah, he got a, he got a weird bug larva thing today. Um... But yeah, here is, well actually, she, I, I need to get used to the fact that Tom is a girl. So, yeah, Tom right here, and yes, it is a female, and yes, its name is Staying Tom. So now we'll move on to the reptile, or reptiles. First we got Alex, my bearded dragon, my leatherback male bearded dragon, uh, 18 inches long. Uh, Pongona viticeps is the scientific name. Uh, he got some crickets today, and he hogged them down. So yeah, he's doing awesome, getting ready to put him to bed. Um, right here we got Crush, the common snapping turtle. I'll be doing some more videos on him by request of Crazy Hermit Crab. 
and also just because he is a pretty awesome turtle. So, I have a little jar. It's got a worm or two in it that uh, he likes to eat. Worms are probably his favorite food. Uh, empty 75 gallon here. List of the last things I need for it until it can like actually be set up. Uh, my Arqueon water changer, the 50 foot. Uh, and then I have all my gravel. Two, like, two entire trash bags worth of gravel. And I just have a ton of it in there. So, yeah. So, what I'll be doing with this tank right here, this spare 20 long, is going to be finally buying, hopefully buying those, uh, Zuganetic his tequila or tequila split fin live bearers from Dan Man. Um, it just needs to get cleaned up. I need to get uh, a new pre filter to put on the filter. Here, let me let me grab this flashlight so you can actually see in here. Get a, get a new pre filter for the filter intake so it doesn't suck up any babies because I will be breeding them, of course, because there's only 50 left in the wild. Um, I need to get a hood. I'm not if even if they are or aren't jumpy, I still want to have a hood with a light and I am not risking them at all jumping. Um I have a heater. Um need some clay pots, some rocks. Uh going to put some plants in here, some driftwood. Uh just going to put a lot of cool stuff in here. But obviously I've got a bunch of old plant matter from like marble moss balls and anacris that need to be cleaned up. I'm um, going to put a little bit of gravel in here, some rocks, you know, all that good stuff. This tank, um, I'm actually not entirely sure what I'm going to put in here. Uh, oh yeah, I think I, I think I plan on putting a self-cloning crayfish in there. And then in here, uh, finally, you know, I'm going to get on to, let me put my flashlight back, I'm going to get on to the last little thing, uh, which, uh, I'll probably be getting this fish soon-ish, within the next, uh, couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna be getting a Bulldog Pleco for this tank. Uh, done a bunch of research on them, wrote a, uh, a species profile on them on the hydroforms.com. Go check that out. Link will be down in the description and go to the website. And then finding the species profiles is as simple as clicking the species profile button on the top of the page. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I guess that's really all the updates I have. Um, I just told you a bunch of my future plans, basically, um, my sooner, like really soon future plans. So, uh, I guess that's the video. Um, I'll have more coming at you soon, of course. So comment, rate, subscribe, respect the hobby, respect the hobbyist, and most importantly, respect the fish. I hope you enjoy the video, and peace out.